Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the farm series. Yesterday we had a really tough time and well, Nate, well, I guess my bank account had a tough time because Nate wrecked our grain cart. It wasn't all his fault. It tractor locked up, stuff like that. But we got insurance for that grain cart. Luckily I had insurance on the equipment. We got full payout plus probably 10% more than it was worth, I'd say, because they completely towed that grain cart out. So we actually bought a new grain cart and it should be coming here soon, most likely, I think. I talked to Buck, but they shipped it into Buck's dealership down in McGregor and then Buck's bringing it on up here with his pickup truck or a tractor, whatever one can pull it. But we have all of our soybeans done officially. We finished them besides for this, we must have missed this. So now we have field 27 and 28. Now Buck went in and he chopped up some silage for me because maybe this winter if we have enough money I'd like to buy some cows and get some cattle so we got some silage stored up already. So basically 28, 27 and we're done with harvest but that's a lot of acres to knock out. We had the John Deere mechanic stop out. He fixed the drawbar hitch here. This thing completely broke off so you had to take out these bolts and pull the whole what what was left of the drawbar out of here and then throw in a new one that's why it's got all new bolts none of them are rusted or anything this tractor is good to go but we also need to run start running some tillage too so we're gonna have to put this on the grain cart and then run some tillage so basically what i'm saying is it'd be kind of nice to have two large tractors because these are kind of our medium-sized tractors for planning smaller field work and then having another larger tractor would be great so we wrecked the grain cart by having the too heavy a grain cart push us down the hill and two days later, I bought a bigger grain cart. We just gotta be a little more smarter. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to buy a bigger grain cart, but oh, there she is. It'll work in time, I think. I gotta move that bean head out of the way. We could probably put that away. I'm gonna hop in the 806 and we'll get that moved. And they say I'm unrealistic pulling a grain cart with a pickup truck. You just pulled. I'm a... not saying it was. I'm not gonna lie. This. I'm not saying this wasn't tough pulling up the hill. With tracks? I. I can't believe you made it up that hill, Adam McGregor. I had it in four low. I was only going about five. We didn't have anything else to pull it up the hill with, so I just said, "Boo it, put it on my truck, and we'll see how far we can get." So she did it. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna need to do an entire powertrain overcheck, but <laughs> I guarantee I'm gonna need it to replace a few things. Well, hopefully we don't put this one in the pond. Yeah, I uh, think that that this should be a little bit easier to stop. It's got a better brake system on it. Yeah. It's a little bit newer. You got time to stick around and help with harvest a little today? I can, yeah. I was just going to head home. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll pull around the, the tractor. Basically, as soon as we get this grain cart, get the combine going, maybe Nate's going to bring, on, bring over his co combine for custom harvest, things should be going smooth today. And I am knocking on wood multiple times because I said that yesterday, and you guys know what happened yesterday. So Buck, what I'm thinking is I'm just going to leave that semi over the pit, and then we can just run the grain cart up here and dump in the semi, and then I'll dump in the pit. Well, I guess, what do you need me to do then? Just run the grain cart. Works for me. Got my white New Balances on. <laughs> Got my sun hat. I think the the Nebraska Iowa game is on the radio today. They usually play around oh, this. Oh yes, yes it is. I've heard that's gonna be a pretty good matchup. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if Nebraska can finally win one. Fuck, you got a 16 row head down at the dealership? We might need one soon. Uh, if we do, it's gonna be a fancy folding one. This is a folding one too. What are you gonna run it on? Uh, yeah, pro this probably this combine can't handle it. I'd be better off probably buying a second combine. Well, also, your pipe's not long enough. You should have sold me a combine with a small pipe, Buck. The corn's yielding 240 bushel right now. Some of it's up to 260, 270. Which means... You're missing the end? Yes, and you're going to have to stay on top of me, because I'm going to get full quick. You might need a second grain cart. Which side of the field do you want me to try to open up first? Any headland that I haven't high. opened. Probably go on the, that, right. that south side. Shoot. Gosh darn it. I told you I can't multitask, son of a gun. But yeah, yeah, go to the south side. Buck, are you going to be able to keep up with Nate and me? I should be able to. This thing goes 24. If I get to the roads, I should be able to get going pretty quick. Okay. Oh, what is the yield? I didn't even check. Let's see what we're doing here. So, as we're going along here, we got... There's some... Oh, this is a really good field. This is a really good field. Let's see what we're at. We're in like the 120, 115% over here. Oh, this is... This is going to be good. Because if you look at soil type over here, we got some sand, but it's pretty much all loam. So like we're going to be 120% yield range, which is going to be like 250 bushel corn. That is going to be good. I'm 76% full. Yep. Let's do this. I'm going to head southbound then. We're right by a field exit. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. 
I am oh, not fixing shoot. your chaffer frame. Gosh, I am not fixing it. that chaffer frame on that thing. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. I think we're good. I for some reason I thought the ditch was flat. I honestly did. Like I was literally thinking for some reason. You I live in the state of I we live in the state oh, of Iowa. You gonna, think? You're just gonna pull it. Well, I guess it's good to get weight off. Okay, get the weight off, and I should be able to pull out of here. Yeah, you're fine. You sure? Yeah, because your axle will get that job. Uh, the uh, the throw the spreader out the back. Good. We're fine. Yep. Just go for it. Okay. Yeah, you got. Some, looks like you got a handful of scratches on the bottom of that yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some dirt clods. Yeah, we should be good though. Gosh, I thought we were gonna wreck that rear axle. Buck, Buck, you good? Yep. Just giving the beat. Buck, Buck, don't do the same thing to me. See, here's the difference. I'm experienced in this. <laughs> that is true. Okay, Buck. At some point, you're gonna have to cross. Find a low spot and just send it. Yeah. How about right at the end here when it cuts right into your area? That's what I was talking about. Of course. Yeah, right up here. I knew that was there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's going to be close. Yeah, you're going to be close. 92. It is going to be close, Buck. 96. Oh, are we going to make it? 97, 98. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're, we made it. We made it. Okay, Buck. Back her up. It's it's not like you have a creek to your right and then a combine to your left. And all you can do is straight. Look at this guy go. <laughs> go, baby, go. Okay, how full are you, Buck? 90. Okay. At least that's what the scales read. And good. If you guys are looking for a good map, UMR V, this map we're on, I gotta give it to the guy that created it. I mean, this is, this is, obviously I've said it so many times, but this is amazing map. Like, the corn textures, obviously there's a couple other maps that have these corn textures, but everything is realistic. Everything spent a bunch of time to make it perfect and perfected, and you can tell that with a map. Hey, uh, Grant, before you actually get into that, do you want to do a little favor? It'll save us some time. Yeah, what's that? Cut a pass that goes from here straight to the backyard of your place, and then we'll empty the rest of what you have in out into this, and then I have a straight shot to go from here to the farm. Okay, that'll work good. Now this, guys, is just cool. I don't know, something about a combine with a chopping corn head, just cutting right through, choosing a path. You got sanding, good yielding corn. You got a bush logo on the side of it. Got... 32,000 on you. You're good to go. We got the field opened up. We'll dump into Buck. Buck is about good. I got 4% left. Go! Oh, look. We're spilling. Hey, boys. I got you on the CB. Yes, sir. Yep. I'm pulling in the driveway here. Who am I headed to? Oh, uh, you're going to go to Nate, then more than likely. The Red Combine. The red, red Combine. combine. All right. you see go, the, to, go to Yeah, follow me on down, and then you'll take a left down here where I'm turning. Okay. I was just going to shoot him through the backside by your house. Oh, yeah, either or would work. He's coming my way already. Just keep going. Come on, Buck. Hang Come on. on, Buck. I'm spilling. There we go. There you go, Buck. <laughs> this takes a second. <laughs> Has to think about it. Oh, Buck, watch the pipe. There you go. Watch it. Boys, hey, if man. you guys take a look at the yield map, oh my gosh, we're in the 115, 120 percent region. What in the blue blaze of a donk -a donk are you doing? I'm just, I, I got it, I got it. I know my way. Hey, boys, do you think if I take this muddy ditch, I'll get stuck or do it? Or do not do it. It's do not, not my tractor. Do, 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 do it. Do not. Do not. Do not. Do not. We got a chain. It's all good. Okay. We got no, a chain. If that wasn't my my main workhorse, I wouldn't say nothing. But that's my main oh, workhorse. Oh, Grant will pull it out. Yeah, we'll pull it yeah, out. Yeah, ruin it. Yeah, okay. Even oh, if it's in a couple pieces. Is that a, is that an okay? Buck's no, got an excavator. I'm cutting you. Uh, okay, fine. Well, are you just trying to get payback from yesterday? No, I didn't <laughs> yep. really try it. Oh shoot, I'm almost out of fuel. Son of a gun. We should be able to make it. I should be good. We'll be fine. No. No, we'll you're not. Fine. It's because I'm on a hill. It's all good. Buck, is there any way you can bring the fuel tanker and back it up on the go and we keep oh, combining? Oh Wall, we're filling. We can try. Okay, get on it, Buck. Well, maybe you need a better oh, tractor. Oh, shoot. Buck. That, that is a good tractor. I'm out of fuel. I'm coming. Ah, oh, son of a gun. She is stuck. What, what, did you, what did you say this morning? What was that? I said everything's going to go smoothly. I... It, 
Exactly. <laughs> what? You did you not learn anything yesterday? I knocked on wood two times today. You did the same yesterday. You go to... <laughs> I think he just needs to knock on wood once, if not three times. Otherwise, he loses. True. Yep. There he is to the rescue. Rental man, Buck. Back her up, Buck. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're feeling on the go. Come on. Come on. This, this is basically like those those big military jets. Oh, this is not hey, sketchy I'm at all. The, hey, I'm keeping the, the hose not tension. Okay, I'm full. Buck, you going to be able to make that turn? You got it. There you go. Well, I'm going all the way to the end. Oh, watch the corn. No, never mind. No, I'm not. Okay, Buck's going to take over the combine. Well, We're going to take over the grain cart. See if we can keep up with them. Here we go. Take over from there. Oh, watch it, watch it, Buck. There you go. I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Not really. You didn't really mean you probably should have done two heads of I know, I know, I know. If we take a look at the yield map, guys, so Buck is over here. I'd say 120, 115, 120. Super good. And then Nate, we got some sand down here, but everything else is loam and stuff, and he's doing really good. So I mean this stuff is yielding extremely good. That's why we need two grain carts to keep up with these guys. Okay. We're unloading corn at the semi. That dumps into the bin site. And actually, we're gonna use the semi to start hauling a couple loads down to the river. So, what I'm gonna do is give the dealer a ring. We're gonna buy a, a wagon to sit over top of this. So we need some type of wagon that can dump into this because the grain cart, it's sketchy. It's just too far of drop to the ground. I'm thinking we buy something like this wagon. We had one of these back in the day. It'll work perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do for now, it's gonna be simpler, is we're gonna put the wagon over the bin site. So that way we can actually use the truck. When somebody gets a free chance, they can truck a couple loads down the elevator. Because come winter and next spring and summer, we're gonna have a lot of grain to haul. Okay, so this is gonna work good. We're gonna put this wagon right here, and then any of the grain carts can just dump into this. There we go, that'll work better. Nate and Jake, they're rolling along there. We're gonna take a semi load down the elevator and get a little more cash. So this is the ethanol plant where we're gonna be unloading. I don't think I've ever been here. Actually, Suncor, we got an account with them. It would be nice to get another semi bought, probably. So we could be hauling two semis at once. We'll pull up all the, on the scale here. There we go, get our way in, get our ticket. Now this is cool. I remember this from like, I think this was in FS17. It wasn't like fully hooked up. And she's empty, 33,000, nice. Okay, we are into the next day now. We got a little bit of rain, so I think we're gonna be good to harvest still, but we're trucking, as you can see here, trucking a couple loads. So I got a full load here. We're just getting a little bit of harvest income because I think what I'm gonna do is <laughs> go down to the John Deere dealer and probably buy another tractor. And we need to get a ripper, uh, tillage PC equipment, because we might go corn on corn here. We need to rip that up, get rid of the residue. We need a little bit more money, and we have a crazy amount of bushels in the bin. As you can see, we got all of this done, and we pretty much have, I'd say, 80 acres on the back side of my farm over there that still has to be harvested. This semi has worked out, worked out pretty nice. Wagons, they're good, but then again, you can only go like 25 mile an hour. Whereas this, usually, if I can get going, we can usually get up to like 45, 50 at least. Should go faster, but we just don't have the power. There we go, start dumping. This unloads pretty darn quick. Check it out. And we're good. Plus our environmental score. Nice. 40 grand to load. Not bad. And we're back to the bin site. So we'll grab another load out of the bins. And start hauling again. So right now it doesn't count in bushels, but for soybeans we have 94,000 liters, which is a lot. And then corn we have 510,000 liters. And a truck holds how much? I'm not sure because it says in bushels, but we'll see. So 510,000 is what we had and 470. Basically 470,000 liters is about 470,000 US dollars at the current price. Now, if the price goes up and doubles, then we'll have, you know, $900,000. There we go. 40, like 42,000 is what we got in total. Not bad. And there is Nate. He's hauling some custom loads for me. Okay, we're actually gonna load in some soybeans because they got pretty good basis going on at one of the local elevators. So we're gonna haul one load of soybeans. Uncle Grant, how many more loads of corn am I doing? That's it. Done? No, we're done. I'm taking one more of beans and then probably gonna head out down to the deer dealer. Uh, you wanna meet you down there? Or do you want me yeah. to start on Yeah, meet me down there. That'll work good. Nate just sold, so we got like 44 more thousand dollars. And we got a ton of grain in the bins. So pretty much all that is gonna get saved till like winter and spring when prices are extremely high. And this is the mighty Mississippi. Pretty much all the grain goes out on those barges across there. Get loaded up and 
headed down to Louisiana, I think. Actually, I don't know. Okay, so that's where we're gonna sell our soybeans, right there, where we load them up. Oh, this is gonna be a little tight fitting. We should be good. There we go, and start unloading. Not bad. So $82,000, and then we got like a $9,000 environmental score. Well, Buck's gonna be mad at me for driving a semi in here. No, you're not parking in the wash bay. Don't even think about it. I won't, Buck. I won't. You're not parking in the shop either. <laughs> Get out of the shop. There we go. Okay, indoor parking. I like it. I'm going to smack you so far across the county line okay. that they're going to okay. have to pick up your birth certificate and double check if it's you or not. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Okay. What if I buy something from you? Will you smack me still? Better buy a heck of a lot. I'm gonna be getting a heck of a commission off. I, of I, I got some good grain. I, I got. I sold some good grain, so we should be good. Yeah, Nate. Just there's a there's a wash bay if you want to park in it. I need a disc ripper or tillage, and then I need a, another four wheel drive tractor, nine thousand series. Could be tracks too. Well, if you're looking for like a twenty seven twenty, I got one coming in this afternoon. That's like a full blown actual ripper. Okay. With shanks and whatnot, it's not gonna be as wide. But, at least what I do have for disc harrows, so if you wanted to get light tillage in there, we got our sunflower. Uh, we actually got this Kinsey mock till in here, so you could do a little bit of speed tilling with that. We do have this Landall wing disc. This is a nice little used product. I need something deep. Deep ripper. Well, like I said, I don't have a, a full-blown shank ripper coming in until this afternoon, but we can get you that one, which that What's one the comes at? in. Uh, that one I can get you priced at check here on my book we can get you that one for about seventy-five thousand after okay. discount you got a deal i'd like to get another 9630t i'd like to but it looks like you don't have any tracks in here oh uh, we don't have any tracks in at least uh unless custom order or a trade comes in the three we have right now are the 80 uh, the 9530 8370r and this 9460 9460 is the nicest of the bunch, but it's configured almost like your dream tractor. This tractor, we're asking 316000 but hmm. that's kind of cheaper because of the fact that it has 2,800 hours on it already. Okay, what about the 80, 8370? That one is listed at 253000 and it has 418 horsepower, and has 750 hours currently on it, and go 31 miles an hour, and it's got a 23-speed power shift in it. What about the 9530? That one is at 188,000 because it has 3,500 hours on it and it can go 24 miles an hour, but it's technically, I don't know why, but it's got like a CVT style of transmission. So basically you just put it in drive and go. Okay. Well, so this one, power. that one has 475. It's the most out of these. Buck, you said you're asking, you're asking 188 for this? 188 for this one. That is correct. Will you take 180? Nope. 188 is the lowest we can go. Deal. All right. Nate, do you need anything? I was gonna, if he didn't buy it, I was about to buy it, so I'm good then. Oh! Of the, horse, the, the horse power alone was what made me want to buy it. I could easily... Oh, say that's, that's the only thing is that it's these cheap two horsepower. are nice. I mean, not that it's cheaper. cheap or anything, but it's cheap horsepower compared no. to some of this stuff you got. Yeah, I was about to say, it's cheap horsepower, and that's exactly how I was looking at it. Okay, I got Buck paid $263,000. We bought the 9530, which... We're, I'm going to keep it here because the Ripper should be coming in soon, Buck said. So, that is it. We're not buying anything else this year, and we got a lot of grain to sell this winter. So, we'll probably buy a new planter come spring because we're going to need to cover a couple more acres. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this farming episode, and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Well, if you guys wanted to know, a uh, track tractor and track grain cart cannot get through a ditch.